Welcome to the Total Destruction tutorial series. In this series, I will take you step by step through the process of creating production quality destruction effects from planning to the final compositing. Everything ranging from demolition, explosions, fire, smoke, debris, and much, much more. We will build upon a very cool war scene and add to it in each tutorial. In volume one, we will learn all you need to know about fracturing geometry to add detail to your scenes and to fragment your 3D models for rigid body dynamic simulations. Fracturing is essential to creating detailed and controllable destruction simulations. In chapter number one, we will learn how fracturing works within an RBD simulation and how we can control the breaking of different parts of our models. We will understand the all-important name attribute and we will also create a simple RBD simulation setup that will later allow us to test our fractured objects. In chapter number two, we will be introduced to the Voronoi fracturing, which is the bread and butter of the fracturing process. We will go well beyond breaking pieces and learn how to create some very nice geometric patterns and even how to create a brick wall made of individual bricks in a procedural way. We will then learn to create clusters for our Voronoi cells and how to add interior details to each fragment. We will also create UVs to be able to add materials and textures inside the fractured pieces. And finally, we will look into a very useful technique to create wood splinters and fractures. In chapter 3, we will look into the relatively new Boolean fracturing method, which is very useful to create highly detailed fractures and also very controllable destruction. We will learn the difference between solid object fracturing and fracturing with surfaces. We will also create a fast but powerful setup to cut geometry based with simple planes or grids. In chapter four, we will learn how to take advantage of the new material fracture node. We will learn how to create concrete pieces, glass shards, and a different approach of creating fractured wood. Finally, we will start preparing our shot geometry for destruction. After watching this tutorial, you can expect to be able to fracture and break any kind of geometry in preparation for almost every kind of destruction effects. You will also understand the pros and cons of all the different fracturing techniques and will have a very good idea of when and how to use each one of them. My name is David Adan. I am an FXTD at Cinesite Montreal and I will be your guide through the exciting path of destruction effects. We have a lot of new things to learn, so let's get started.